face painting designs are amazing, and often we will use line work to embellish those designs even further. When we are doing embellishments or even using line work as the focus of our design, it's often made up of five basic elements. Dots, teardrops, curls, swirls, or even just basic lines. But knowing how they interact together can make our designs even more powerful. It will increase our speed, our accuracy with symmetry, and a whole bunch of other things like our confidence. So let me take you through the way that I do my line work and how I like to create these clusters and these families of clusters that I know are lines that play nice together. Let me show you a few that I like to use on the center of the forehead. I love using hearts. They're so beautiful and it's Valentine's Day and so that's super fun. It has kind of an arrowhead feeling already on its own. We can use the thin to thick to thin line or we can even come in with a swirl, which is often something that I'll do to add a little more interest. This works great on its own. It's a combination of two of our elements. We have a swirl and we have a curl, but look what happens when we also add some of our others, some little dots. We can add some teardrops that go into each other to add some hearts. We can add a couple more dots coming up and we can even have teardrops coming on either side. When you are looking for what line work, instead of having to start clear back at the beginning, we can have these in our back pocket. Let me show you another one that is really fun to do. So we have these teardrops that are making a little seashell. And that's beautiful. Now in this family, of course, we have all kinds of variations, but this is where it starts. Now, if it's a mermaid design, I might actually do the little triangle down here. Sometimes I'll even add that center point. It works in either direction. You can have it coming down or you can have it going up. The bottom one, we can alter and pull the form out to give it a little bit more of a strong base so that it doesn't feel like it's about to tip over on us and do a couple of curls or swirls right there. We can even have a little bit of a teardrop coming up from the bottom. But you can see that what we're trying to do is we're trying to create these little elements that will repeat over and over and over in our work. So here are just a couple of really simple ones I like to use on the forehead. Let me show you a couple that I use up at the top of the face for a wing. So I love to pull a long teardrop. Then in front, I like to pull a second teardrop and just connect it. And then we pull a second teardrop off the top and it's bent a little and we can just continue these loops down. And those are beautiful wings. Now, if this is on top of the forehead and I'm doing more of a fairy mask, let's bring our teardrop down and then just follow along behind. And this is a beautiful cluster. And once you get your cluster in place, that's when you get to add all the little extra things that make it look so beautiful. Um, here we have kind of bent teardrops, but it works just as well with straight ones. So we can have a teardrop and then just moving teardrops right next into it in this beautiful line. And that's so pretty. It looks very angel, it looks very bird because it is so feathery and wonderful. Now, anything we do on one side, we can also do on the other. So teardrops going in the opposite shape here, and we can even come in here with dots for where they overlap. You can see that that is a beautiful line work cluster that looks just like a feather and we can add that to our repertoire. Next, I wanna show you what happens when we combine these elements. So using that wing that we did earlier, all we need to do is to paint a second wing. You can use the same color or you can change colors right on top. And you can see the depth and dimension that you're starting to create is awesome. If you start with a really heavy teardrop and then you go really wispy, it helps to not muddy the colors, but you could do a full rainbow wing by just starting out far enough and doing these little wisps and doing these layers of teardrops. Now, what happens when we cluster our teardrops with some curves? Let me show you how fun that can be. One teardrop here to connect at the top, and then we're just going to do a rounded curve coming down. And you can see that by creating this negative space, we have a really nice balanced kind of yin and yang look going where we have heavy and empty and heavy again. And each of these represents its own cluster. And we have these different families of clusters that we can mimic. And by learning and practicing these clusters, it will speed us up so much because what we're not having to do is reinvent the wheel every time we want to embellish a design with line work. 
So where do our clusters come from? You're welcome to use any of the ones I'm showing you here in this tutorial, but also remember that you can look into other people's art and you can say, oh my gosh, there's a cluster. And by identifying it and pulling it out and practicing just the cluster, we will learn and grow this unique skill rather than just copying a full design. We can also link things together. And here you can see we have used a curl, we've used teardrops, we've used these loops, and we've created this shape. It looks a lot like a swan, and it would fit so nicely at the top of a crown. And then maybe one of our other clusters we can put right here, and you can see that this is already starting to look like a complete design. Once we use a cluster, we then get to ask ourselves, how does that cluster fit in? And that's when we then come and think, expand down to the corner of the eye. So let's add some loops over to this side. When we are looking to create clusters, we're trying to one, fill a space, and two, we're trying to get people's attention to journey because that is what line work does, is it shows the eye where to go and where to stay. And by filling pages, not with random swirls, but with controlled swirl clusters, they will become their own element that we will then start using over and over. And you can see that by using clusters instead of just teardrops, it elevates our ability to create beautiful, powerful designs.